Hi, welcome to Red Drop Spot. In today's video, we are going to be interacting with Singularity Testnet. This testnet is a points program and every interaction that you make is going to be rewarded. It is supposed to last for 90 days, but we are already two weeks into the testnet, so we have two weeks and two months left. So this website is singularity.finance.ai slash testnet and what we are here to do is to uh, connect our EVM wallet and then add Singularity Network to our wallet. I am using MetaMask. So once you connect your wallet, you are going to receive the prompt to add the network and switch to Singularity Network in your wallet. So click on Approve and then click on Switch Network. After adding Singularity Network to our EVM wallet, we want to claim test tokens. So I just opened up another tab and I am pasting the link to the faucet here. Paste your wallet address and then tap on Request Funds. However, if you do this and you are getting capture error, I'm going to do that right now. If you are getting this invalid capture error, simply open up the new tab in your Chrome browser. I am using MySys while recording this. That is why I was getting the error. But now I am on Chrome browser and you can see that it is now showing the capture. And I can easily just check the capture box and then tap on Request Funds. The test token have been claimed, so I am back on the testnet website. Now I am going to tap on endpoint to get started with the tasks. So the first thing that we are going to do here is to wrap token. I will tap on wrapping token and we want to wrap SFI token. That is what we got from Fawcett. We want to wrap SFI and make it WSFI. So I got 100 SFI from the faucet and from this I am going to indicate the amount that I want to wrap. So I want to wrap 40. I'll click on swap and then confirm the transaction in my wallet. Swap is successful. So I now have 40 WSFI and then about 60 XFI. So I'll go back to the task page. Now that I have WSFI, the next task that I want to perform is staking. So I'll scroll up and then tap on staking tokens. Once you are here, scroll to the bottom and then tap on stake. So what we want to do here is to stake the WSFI token that we wrapped into just now. So I'm going to be staking 20 WSFI token and then I'll tap on approve and then approve the token transfer in my wallet. Once the transfer is successful like this, click on deposit to complete your staking. Then confirm the deposit in your wallet. Now, staking task is successful. I'll go back to the task page. I am back on the task page and the next task I want to do is bridging. So I'll scroll to the top and I'll tap on the first task, bridging. Now, this is the bridging page and there are two things that you can do here. You can either bridge from Sepolia to Singularity or you bridge from Singularity to Sepolia. So we are going to start with withdraw, which is bridging from Singularity to Sepolia. That means we are bridging SFI from Singularity chain to Sepolia and I'll be bridging 10 SFI tokens. I'll tap on withdraw funds and then I'll check the checkbox. Next, I am going to confirm the transaction in my wallet. Withdraw, that is bridging from Singularity to Sepolia is successful. Now here is why we will not be bridging from Sepolia to Singularity in this video and that is because uh, we don't have SFI on Sepolia and the faucet is not giving SFI on Sepolia. Let's try that and then tap on switch to Sepolia to see it. Mm. 
So as we can see, I am on Sepolia chain now. And if you check my SFI balance, it is zero. So we do not get SFI on Sepolia chain when we use the faucet. We only have it on Singularity. So we can only first bridge from Singularity to Sepolia, which actually takes seven days for the funds to arrive on Sepolia. And when we now have SFI on Sepolia, that is when we can bridge back from Sepolia back to Singularity chain. I hope that is clear. So having done one part of the bridging that is currently available, I will go back to the task page. I am back on the task page and next I want to claim staking reward. So I am going to tap on staking claim. Now for you to be able to claim your staking rewards, ensure that it has been about an hour or more after you staked before you come to complete this task. So mine has been about an hour after I staked. I am going to click the claim button. And this is what I have to claim at the moment. I am going to click the claim button again and then confirm this interaction in my wallet. So I just successfully claimed some staking rewards. I'll go back to the task page and then pick the next one. I am going to unstake in some of the tokens that I staked. I won't unstake everything. So I tapped on unstake. I'll scroll to the bottom. I'll tap on explore. Scroll to the bottom, then tap on withdraw. And I am going to indicate the amount of WSFI that I would like to unstake. I have 30 staked, so I am going to be staking about 5. Now, when I stake this token, I staked for 90 days. But because I want to unstake before 90 days, then it is going to come with a penalty. If you look at early withdrawal penalty, you see 0.2247 WSFI. What does that mean? It means instead of me to be able to unstake 5 WSFI successfully, I'll be receiving 4.78 instead. The reduction is my uh, penalty for staking earlier than for unstaking earlier than I have staked before. I'll confirm this in my wallet. On staking successful, I'll go back to the task page. We have one more task here and that is on wrap tokens. I will tap on that. Unwrap token simply means that you want to swap back into SFI from WSFI. So I'm going to tap on that arrow to change things so that WSFI can be at the top. Then I'm going to indicate the amount that I want to unwrap. I have about 9.7 left. So I'll be unwrapping about 5. I'll tap on swap. Then confirm the transaction in my wallet. Unwrapping successful. I'll go back to the task page. So, so far we have done everything under on-chain interactions. We've done bridging, staking, unstaking, unwrapping, wrapping, staking. And what we have left is off-chain task, which is social tasks. The social tasks are meant to be completed on Zilli. I mean, if you click on the task directly, it takes you to Zilli. But I will suggest not to click on it directly from the website like this. Instead of doing that, I am going to open up another tab and I am going to paste the direct Zilli link of the task. 
And the reason why we are doing this is because if you used somebody's Zilli link to complete the task, the person is going to end point. Like if you used mine, I end point. However, it is also compulsory for you as well to refer other people. So instead of telling people to click on the task directly from the website and you end no points, why not give them your referral link so that you end points when they join the task? I hope I made the point clear. So I just completed the first Zilli task, which is to follow Singularity on Twitter, and I have claimed the reward. Next, I'm going to be joining their Telegram group. I'll tap on Join Telegram. So in response to DMs and comments that I used to get from people that I restricted them from talking in our group chat, I'll quickly use this as a demonstration. You will notice that I got this prompt. The admins of this group have restricted you your ability to send messages. That is the group bot. And what I need to do is to tap on click here to prove you are human. To prove myself that I am human and not a bot. And once you click on that, it is going to take you to self capture. It can be any form of capture. In my case, I need to complete uh, an addition. You can see 17 plus 5 equals to what? I need to pick the right answer. It is 22. And once you successfully solve whatever capture that was given to you and you go back to the group chat, you will see that you'll be able to regain your ability to talk. So I am back. I have joined the Telegram uh, group chat and I have claimed the reward. Now the next task on Zilli is to invite your friends. And that is why I was uh, advising that you should use someone's invitation code. If you can, please use mine so that I can end the point. And you should also encourage others like I'm encouraging you to use your own invitation code so that it will be a win-win situation instead of people just clicking on the task directly from Singularity website. There is one more task remaining and that is to repost a tweet on Twitter, which I am currently doing. So I have done that and I am going to click on claim. So we have completed three tasks out of four. The last one is the invitation task and at this point I'll be going back to Singularity. So this is a point program and each task that we are completing actually has its own point that you are supposed to earn as you complete the task. Your points are supposed to be reflecting on the dashboard as you are completing the task. But you would notice that since that I have been doing everything here, uh, I still have zero points. My points are not reflecting in my dashboard. Well, you have nothing to worry about because they have the notification in their Telegram group chat that they are currently working on it and all points will be updated in the next few days. However, your points are not lost at the moment. Keep doing the testnet interaction and by the time they push every fix, you are going to see your points that you have earned, the total, everything all together. So we have come to the end of Singularity Testnet tutorial and I hope this video has been beneficial to you in one way or another. If you have any questions, drop me a comment in the comment section and make sure to join us on other channels, Telegram, Twitter, Medium. You will find all the links together with all the links I used in this testnet interaction in the pinned comment. Like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more contents like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another tutorial.